channel. Today's video is something very interesting. I just came across these products. I've never actually really heard of them before. It is this brand called Yada and it's from Korea. So you guys know how much I love like Korean skincare, Korean makeup, everything Korea. Like even Korean girls, Korean dramas. Yeah, you guys get a point. Anyway, today's video is going to be your first impressions and I just want to see how this entire Yada range, they actually have like skincare and makeup as well, would actually work on my skin. So for those of you that know, I have very dry and sensitive skin. So I saw that they actually have quite a few products that are suitable for sensitive skin, which we are going to put to the test today. Um, I have never used these products before, so today is going to be my first time trying it out and I will let you guys know how I think about them. They have a huge range of face masks in their entire line. Like, I love face masks and I use face masks like so, so, so fast and so often. I try my best to use it about like two, three times a week minimum because I have really, really, really dry skin. And I feel that, you know, with face masks, they really are super effective and it's just like a little relaxation time for me. So, I have over here the Yada Soothing Mask Pack. And it's very cute. They always have this very cute little girl like in their packaging and she's always doing like cute and crazy things which is what I like about this brand because you know the entire aesthetic of it is just so Korean and so like youthful and like energetic and just happy in general. So I'm first going to put on a mask pack. Chan chan. Mmm. There isn't any scent at all. There's no colour as well. It's quite a lot of serum. I can definitely smell that it is very, very like medical grade because this one is soothing mask pack and it actually has like a very nice antibacterial scent to it. It is definitely not like artificially scented, I must say. And I like that the quality of the mask is very good. Like, look at how it sits on my face. It fits like my face really well and it has a lot of serum inside which is great. So, it says leave it on for 10 to 20 minutes and massage any excess essence into your skin. Use 2 to 3 times a week to maintain clear and vivid skin. Alright, I'll see you guys in 10 to 20 minutes. Alright, so 10-15 minutes have passed and you guys can see the mask. It is still very, very moist. Like, I feel that it can definitely go like beyond 15 minutes. So it's definitely not that kind of mask that, you know, dry out too fast. So you want to gently massage it into your skin. I've got eczema on my neck as you can see. It just recently flared up. So this mask is so far not irritating it which is great, super, super good news. And in fact, it is actually making it better. Ooh, I really, really like this mask because it's actually really not sticky at all. It just got absorbed right into the skin. So I like that they also have a huge range. If you can see, there's like soothing, moisturizing, vitalizing, brightening, a lot of different sheet masks. So if you're a sheet mask lover, definitely try Yada out. I think it's very, very good. Just look at like how much there's left. Wow! <laughs> Still got so much left. Next, we have skincare. So, I have here with me the NTT Toner as well as the NTT Emulsion. They come in very beautiful like glass bottles like this and this is actually for skin that is stressed or like skin that has like acne or troubled skin. It looks super cute. It's a toner that soothes skin by controlling moisture balance with a fresh texture without stickiness. So it comes with a palm which I like. The texture is very watery. It smells really nice and calming. They are right, it is not sticky at all. It just feels like a very nice relaxing water. And I think what this does is it helps people with troubled skin because it is not too sticky. Uh, even people with oily skin because it's very light. Then I'll go in with the NTT Emulsion. Same thing comes with a pump. I love the bottle. Oh, okay. Just gonna show you guys the texture. Likewise, it's also very, very um, lightweight. Scent-wise, there isn't much of a scent, which is amazing because I don't like uh, products that are scented. And especially if you have troubled skin, the last thing you want near your face is just products with full of chemicals. Lastly, um, I have here the NTT Cream Moisturizing. So I think this is like a moisturizer. And it also has the cute Yada girl over here. 
Oh, the texture, it's kind of similar, slightly thicker than the emulsion, but that's what creams are. So I think it's meant for people who, you know, experience drier skin, and if the emulsion is not um, hydrating enough for you, you can go in with a third layer, which is this cream. But likewise, it is actually not heavy. It's very, very lightweight actually. Just slightly richer in texture, so it's a lot more hydrating. It just has a very, very slight like citrus kind of scent, but it's very light, like you can barely even smell it. All right, I have here the Yada Oh My Sunscreen. It has the cute Yada girl once again. <laughs> Look at her doing all these crazy things. So cute. This is apparently voted to be number one in Watson's Malaysia. So let's see how this wears. This is SPF 35 PA2+. So it's quite a decent um, sun coverage. Oh, wow. The texture is really light. Like it just feels like a lotion. It does not feel like a sunscreen at all. And in fact, it kind of has like a powdery finish, so it does not give you that oily sheen at all. Mm. The, the smell also has a similar citrus scent, but uh, it's really, really just not too much. This is what I like. Let's try it on our face. Oh, I love the texture. It's very light. It's really not sticky at all, guys. It's very good. Like, like in fact, it actually took away some of the greasiness from um, our earlier like skincare because it just and it just leaves you with a really really nice moisturized, bouncy face that is just not too sticky or oily, and it still has that nice glow. Like, I really like it. Alrighty, so now let's move on with the makeup. So, I have here with me Be My Cushion from Yada. First thing, I love this colour. The packaging is just so pretty. Like, it has a very cute um, pink fuchsia colour and at the back, it looks like this. It's just like your typical cushion where you open. Dun -dun. Let's try it on the back of our hands. Ooh, it's actually really cooling and the coverage is I would say medium and it matches my skin pretty well. Now let's try it on the face. So I apply it on half for you guys. You guys can see how natural it looks like the difference isn't even that big so I would say it has a light um, to beautiful medium coverage and I really like that it doesn't have that very very oily finish in fact it just has a very comfortable like semi matte kind of finish which is really all that is in trend right now because with these kind of cushions usually they are just overly dewy and it just doesn't last very long it leaves fingerprints marks on your face which is quite annoying sometimes so I think this one really does not do that and I think it's a very, very good like everyday cushion because it really just evens out your skin tone, cancels out the redness. So you can see, I have redness here, but for this, I just put a tiny little bit, it's kind of gone. I have a lot of broken veins, it's also gone. I'm actually really, really, really impressed because I honestly have never heard of this brand before. So I had zero expectations when I started using it. And I'm using the shade 23. So then my skin tone is now completely evened out and I really, 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 really like the finish and the texture of it. It's very natural. It does not feel like you have anything on your face at all. And even at close up, I feel that my skin looks really nice. Like, highly, highly recommend this. It's amazing. I just hope that it will be able to last throughout the day and I will just kind of try and check back and I'll write in the description box below if it actually lasted for as long as I wanted it to. So let's go in with concealer now. I'm using my Style Nanda 3CE concealer. Ooh, my concealer actually sits very, very well um, over the foundation. Now, let me set my face with a loose powder. I'm using this one by By Terry. Just underneath my eyes, besides my nose, forehead. Next up, brows. I'm just gonna be filling in my brows um, in a straight manner, like very Korean style. 
then just going in with a brush to blend it out and make it really, really soft. I'm just bringing this colour down. Then I'm gonna go in with a brow mascara to just kind of lighten my brows a little bit. I'm using this one from Etude House. Now it's time for eyeshadow. I have been loving my Urban Decay Bon Terrain palette. And I am just going to be taking this shade over here called Still Shot. And it's just like a really nice coral shade. And today's look is going to be very, very uh, pinkish and Korean looking. So, which is why I'm applying it all across my eyelids. Then I'll go in with this shade called Hell Right, Which is like a really pinkish, purplish kind of colour. And I'm just applying it on the outer thirds of my eyes. Then I'm going in with this Style Nanda Lucky 7. It has a very gorgeous coral colour. And I'm just taking the coral shade, applying it. Then going in with a fluffy brush to just blend it all out. Then I'm taking this palette. It's from this brand called Cell & Coal. It is the Love Shadow Palette in Pink Mood. Taking this shade over here. I will be applying it all around my eyes. Taking this brown shade. Next, I will use a eyeliner brush and I will dip it in a brown shadow. Give myself some Korean eye wax. Not forgetting lining your eyelids as well for a deeper set of eyelids. Next up, we'll go in with eyeliner. So Yara also has very interestingly three different kinds of eyeliner. They have the Easy Liner in black, they have the Multi Liner as well as the Pro Liner. So you can see that all these three liners actually have different like tips. So this one has a ball tip, this one is very thin and sharp for precision and this is actually like a slanted tip like this. So today I'm gonna try and use the Easy Liner and see whether or not it really is super easy. Okay, I have here the Easy Liner as well as the Multi Liner. It has a, a ball tip. Wow, so you can go really, really, really precise. Let's try and see. Woo! It actually is super simple. So this one is number two multi liner, and this is how the tip of it looks like a really thick line. Let's try thin. Ooh, I drew the thin one here. I like that it's actually really, really opaque and um, it's really quite simple to use. So let's try the easy liner. Gonna give myself like a really, really uh, thin line. Oh, I can even draw like dots. Wow, did you guys see how fast that was? I think it's really, really good for beginners because what you can do is you can just draw dots like this and then connect these dots. I like it. I like it a lot. I think it's such a smart invention. Like, just look at how easy it is. And one swipe is all it takes to get that very intense black colour. Nice. Let's go back to our same brown shadow earlier and let's try and soften out our eyeliner. I really like that very soft eyeliner look. So it's time to curl the lashes. and apply some falsies. So for today's falsies, I decided to go for some very wispy ones. Just slightly shorter at the front and longer at the end because I wanted like a more like doe eye kind of look because that's what the Korean girls are known for. Time for our cheeks. I will be using the Yara Be My Tint. This is in the shade 02 Peach Coral. So it is actually like a lip tint that has like a dual foot applicator. So let's swatch this. Oh, it's actually like a very watery texture. And um, the colour is actually very, very subtle. Oh, it has like a very, very nice and sweet girl kind of look. So let me try and apply it on my cheeks. I like to apply it on the centre of my um, cheeks, which is near the apples, because by doing so, you'll look cuter and younger. I love that this colour is actually really natural. It just looks like I'm kind of rosy and glowing from within. Alright, I'm also going to apply a little bit on my lips. And uh, it just settles into your lips without really causing much dryness. And I love the colour. Right, 
they also have these auto lip crayons. So I have two here with me. Um, this is 04 Rose Coral. It's like an automatic twist up kind of crayon. And let's just swatch it together. I love the color. I think it's actually very, very similar to this shade that we're wearing right now. And this, another one is in the shade, shade Pink Holic. This one is very, very pigmented and hot pink. And I like that it's very creamy. Like, you guys saw how pigmented and creamy it was. Like, look at this. Ooh. Nice. Okay, I'm gonna try and use Pink Holic in the center of my lips. It definitely goes very well. I think I'll apply some on my cheeks as well. More pink, more pink. Okay, now it's time to contour our face. I'm using my Benefit Hola Bronzer. And I'm just gonna lightly contour it because you don't want to look too tan as this is a Korean makeup look after all. Alrighty, and this pink look is complete. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. All in all, I'm very, very satisfied with the Yada products. I will link everything in the description box below. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to comment, subscribe, join the fam, and follow me on Instagram. I'll see you next time. Bye!